people, welcome back. This is Arise News. You're watching the morning show with me, Biola Labi, and Victoria Peppel. We're still looking at all the developments coming up from the recent political party primaries that produced the candidates of the two main political parties in Nigeria, APC and PDP, as the country gra gradually but assuredly moves towards the 2019 presidential election. Before we were going on, and joining us now is the publicity secretary of the Afeni Fere, the Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Mr. Ayinka Odumakin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, and still with us is Vios founder, um, Vios equity founder, Kamal Bakran, and the founder, CEO of Don Lauren Merrifield Group, Sonny Ayeri Tentuman. Thank you for being with us and welcome. Thank you. Sonny, before we went on break, you were talking about the mortgage infrastructure, the potential opportunity, and also what you hope to, what, what, what we can look forward to. And I think that people probably have edged in their head that there's a possibility that they could be looking at a 12% interest rate on a mortgage in right. the future. Yes. Can you tell us more about what, to, let me sort of just conclude on the points you were making about that infrastructure and what type of international um, portfolio investments will be coming into that? Okay, I thank you very much for this. I really appreciate this opportunity. Um, I think more important, the thing is, first of all, um, there are so many building blocks within this mortgage sector. Um, the first of which, actually, I mean, I, I actually started right from 2004 in my IFC days mm. to help mm. the country develop a bond market because you need a thriving bond market to support a mortgage market. Now, we've put in the refinancing company, we've put in the warehouse company, um, as we speak right now, we're creating another company, which is called the Nigeria Mortgage Guarantee Company. Mm, okay. That company um, is being done between uh, the central bank, the World Bank, um, and also other investors. Um, and the idea of that company is to actually guarantee a percentage of your mortgage. In other words, in the event that you default, all right, an individual defaults, it will cover 40% right, of the original Principal balance. Is that similar to like what Fannie Mae does? No, Fannie Mae. What Fannie Mae? So what Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company does is what, what like Fannie, Fannie Mae does. does. Okay. So that's that's there. Okay. Okay. In other words, we want to make the twenty year a twenty year mortgage standard mm. in Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And if the bond market should um, elongate to twenty five, it becomes a twenty five year mortgage. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Now the, the guarantee company is actually there to provide insurance okay. in such okay. a way yeah. that. Okay effectively, you, it, um, uh, it gives investors more confidence. Okay. So that's that. The next thing we have, after that's created, we expect to have that up and running by, at the worst case scenario, first quarter next year. Hmm. Worst case scenario. Um, then after that will be the next thing, which is like an AMCON for the housing sector. Hmm. So in other words, when, um, if the, the, the guarantee company um, actually now pays out on the guarantee, now what is, how does it get its money back? Hmm. It takes the property, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's create a company that actually, the, all they do is actually buy the, comp the, the mm -hmm. property, right? Refurbish it, and then put it back onto the market. Mm -hmm. So you create that full circle. So it's been a very long, you know, owners. I almost journey. forgot that you started this project from your IFC days. <laughs> yes. I almost forgot yes, so. that. So, you know, um, thanks long, for what, reminding 13 me. years mm -hmm. on, the, on the job, right. right? Okay, but I believe that at the end of it, um, it will benefit the entire economy, and more importantly, the average Nigerian uh, citizen. You want to say something? So, yeah, so one, one thing to also note is, if you look at the size of the problem, mm. is a uh, housing problem, um, I think the statistics are usually around 20 million yeah. deficits. Deficit. Yes, 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 yes. Even if you assume that a house costs 2 million <laughs> naira to build, yeah. how much are we talking about? 40 trillion. Do, uh, Naira. Yeah. That money simply doesn't exist That's why it's in the economy. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay, so that tells you that you need also some really creative and fundamental rethink yeah. of how you approach this mm. thing. Mm -hmm. I think this is fantastic, the, the, you know, the, the, the sort of this, this, this revamp of the mortgage system. Yeah. But I think you also need to look. Uh, Sonny started talking about it, and uh, I was hoping we would develop that further the need to, for massive importation of capital. Yes. It's not necessarily money that needs to come in, in and of itself, but think about it. A lot of the things used in the construction industry are actually imported. Yes. Is it possible to have export financing mm. of these components that essentially mm. effectively lowers the cost, the, the cost mm -hmm. of it? Of and option. if they are 
offered as quasi mortgages themselves, mm. as in like so. You know, somebody supplies materials, mm. okay, mm. or finances, even sure. if it's locally, sure. production of materials on a long-term basis. Mm. That, in a sense, is a virtual mortgage that has been created. Mm. All right, so we need to look at these kind of solutions because the sheer quantum of funds required is simply not available in the economy. If you take all the pension funds, if you take all the money for the, you know, sort of the real sector yeah, infrastructure, yeah. it does not address yeah. it. So you, you need to go out to countries like Turkey, Mexico, uh, you know, those kind of countries that have like, you know, sort of like construction industries, massive construction industries, and look at the possibility of long-term mm -hmm. export financing type uh, interventions. All right, let's, uh, bring, let's re bring Mr. Adumaki into the conversation. So, yeah. so uh, welcome once again. Um, we've been talking about, as you know, the presidential candidates um, and their running mates and what we're expecting as Nigerians from them come um, 2019. Yeah. So um, let's start off with the very basic. Um, I mean, when Atiku picked his running mate in Peter will be a lot of people, uh, there was a lot of excitement. So what are your thoughts about that um, selection? Well, uh, Peter will be, has been here for some time. He uh, was uh, governor of number, uh, number State for eight years. He's been talking all over the place. And I think he has endeared himself to, like we said, it was, uh, the social media was awash uh, with uh, Peter B after Chiku picked him. But though they are still dealing with the political question, uh, especially even from the Southeast, uh, where yesterday the leaders met as a senator, they were not consulted, they were not this and the rest of them. But I think that um, the article ticket is a, uh, is getting together, and uh, it has created some excitement in the land mm -hmm. in terms of options. Uh, because clearly, I was in the studio, I was listening to this gentleman talking and the rest of them, and I was shaking my head. Because we are not yet a set society. You can, see, you can be listening to fantastic ideas, but when guys are on this way, preparing those ideas, and government is on the other side, all they're interested in is a grazing reserve, cattle roots. <laughs> so where, where, where do we where do we concern? Aren't those important enough? More than so <laughs> clearly, you see. My problem now at this stage is that you know, it's not we are we are not lacking in software. This sort of guys, there's no hardware. And until you have get all the software, if you don't have the hardware, there's nowhere to put them. That's true. So that's and that's why this next election is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a leadership that's pro business, that understands the economy, modern economy. Uh, we for the last year and a half years, we have not really had, we don't have an economic team mm -hmm. as we talk. And we have concentrated on the issues that do not add value. Mm -hmm. And so uh, every other time now we are talking of the child, we are talking of this, we are talking of that, we are talking of um, moving a country, we are talking of this. I mean, these are not what you know we what, should sir? talk about now. Let me, let me, let me, you, you, know? you brought something up. You said we need a government that is friendly towards business. Yes. Overnight, there was an executive order that was announced in which 15 Nigerians have now been listed on a, they're on a list, they're on a no-fly no list. No they fly they list, cannot yeah. leave the country. Yeah. When you see things like that, and you're saying that we need a government that is pro-business, and these businessmen have now been listed, um, businessmen or women, we don't know, business persons, um, what does that say to you about, first of all, transparency? Because these, this list is, it's not published, we don't know who, so anyone on this so table? You know any, uh, I think <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was, it was mentioned, it was, it was, yeah. It just said, Prominent Nigerians with money. Sorry, I apologize. Prominent Nigerians with money. But also, one, once again, um, so I, I take that back. I stand yeah. corrected. Um, prominent Nigerians with money. Yeah. One of the themes that also this government promised in a, I mean, a, a couple of speeches that I've actually gone back to read is transparency and publishing of names of corrupt. Anyone that is corrupt. With us list. Yes, Luta's list. So in this announcement of this executive order, would we not have expected to see names rather than, once again, um, a very opaque overnight um, news cycle? I think my view would be this, right? Because I, I read that. Um, I think it, was, it, came, it hit me from Premium Times. 
And the thing is, um, what they said was uh, assets of uh, 50 million, um, but more importantly, is that they were under investigation. Now, the thing is, and let's, let's be, you know, again, under investigation. You know, on investigation. So from that perspective, if we go back to the, the point of, you know, guilty, um, sorry, innocent yeah, until proven, proven guilty, guilty, I think it would be, it would be a bit harsh to, publish, to that publish that because the truth of the matter, if, if someone now, you, after going through it, it happens to be because, you know, you don't want people painted in a certain light because mm -hmm. to remove that paint, you know, you, you know exactly. It's the bad news that comes out. The good news is the little exactly. Uh -huh. So right. I think so that's, that's probably one, why. That's one stand. So I'll, I'll yeah, give them totally, that. Totally you know. Um, but I'll how give them friendly that. is this to business? Because um, 50 million in asset and this. I mean, there's there there are a lot of it's that seems reaching mm. that isn't um, that doesn't seem. It, I mean, when I read it and mm. maybe my interpretation, I didn't really feel like I, th I feel like there was a lot of it reaching rather than. Mm. In uh, fact, first and first. The, this whole list of 50 nameless individuals is so disingenuous because that 50 could have been one, could be 10 million people. Mm -hmm. Because once you don't say, first of all, it's wrong. You, the government has no right mm -hmm. to place a travel ban. It's only a court of law yeah. that can place a travel ban. You can't just whimsically and wake up and say, oh, what, what, what's the basis? What's the justice? The presidency is not the court of law. And except the president removes his word and put on the khaki, he can't begin to do what someone they're doing. The other day they said, okay, yes, for those who have property offshore. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You go and pay tax. Yeah. Yes. So you pay tax, you don't have your property, yeah, you go and pay tax. I mean, they are doing kind of things. Now to this list, it means that if tomorrow now he says what the government does not like on this program, mm -hmm. he gets to the airport, because, oh, we are one of the 50. <laughs> so it's... Oh, it's, it's, don't let them leave our show. <laughs> no, don't so, let people so, leave so, the show. So it's prone to, it's prone to have it. So you, you can't do it in the first place. But, now, okay. now it's just saying 50-50. But no, I like Without, what you're I mean, saying. It's, it's and clear, I, just, I mean, because we've said, we, you know, you've said under investigation, so yes. they shouldn't, the list shouldn't be published. But under investigation, if you're under investigation, should you then not be allowed to fly? Uh, if you are, yeah. Let's, okay. let's, yes. again, the legality of it, yeah. I think, uh, they, they claim to have established the legality of it okay. uh, as per the, 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 the news, news the, release. They, yes. they claim, and you can debate that. Mm -hmm. Trump had a no-fly list which, by executive order as well. It, it wasn't which was, which was heavily debated as well. Yeah. So it's not dismissed. It, it was tested. It was tested. But it was, it was, it was, it was, also, de was, it was yeah. also debated. It was discussed. Yes. So it's not to yeah. be dismissed. Yes. It is to have a discussion. No, no, no. So, yes. hundred, I mean, so in terms of the legality yes. of it, I, don't, I, I, I think that is not settled one way or another. It Fair. could very well be legal. The very pronouncement is, uh, in my view, unwise mm. uh, for some of the reasons that have been stated. Uh, it serves no purpose other than to sound like propaganda, mm. to, be, to be like you're doing something about corruption. It, it's unfortunate that we're having this kind of um, unnecessary Do you think that's because we've entered into stage. sort of silly yeah. season? Yeah. We, part of it is silly season, but again, mm -hmm. to, be, to be fair, the administration yeah. has not demonstrated a particularly high level of sophistication when it comes to handling this sort of uh, strategic communication. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we cannot wish that away. Uh, but I think it's important to separate the issues. Mm -hmm. The legality of it, I don't think, is settled. Uh, I don't think you can say it is illegal. I don't, and I think, of course, uh, well, the you opposition. You can't say it's legal either. Well, until that is yeah. determined, but the, 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 I mean, an executive order is not something unheard of. Uh, you know, it's it's used in different climes. So and what happens to these fifty persons? First of all, we don't so know how, how exactly. But if Which I knew somebody who was. If I had a family member on that list yeah. and he couldn't fly out and he had to be outside Nigeria, how does he begin to handle these challenges? Yeah, so but in the first place, we don't even know. Yeah, but the very fact that, that a list of 50 has not been published makes it damages the credibility of right. the whole. Right. It does. So it also, also affects the, the, the life of the individual involved. We don't know that they actually exist. It affects the quality exist. of life. Yeah, because there, 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 that, there is there obviously two. doubt that they may or they might not exist. Yeah, so but let's not let's not um, let's not. <laughs> I don't want to um, waste uh, us to use too much time on this. And Mr. Marcus, since you're here, I do want to talk about as. Any fair um, social cultural group and a group that has quite a lot of audio. I mean, people do listen and people do pay attention to this group. Do you feel that Yoruba people understand 
where you're going and what you're trying to do in the future. Because even I feel that there is a disconnect between the group and like from a social cultural perspective and how political it has become. Um, do, do, do you find the group to be more social cultural or do you find that you're more of a political group and how should Yoruba people, how does that, how does that help Yoruba people? I was, the group is not just social cultural, it's political mm. also. Because you see, you're talking about political economy, you cannot talk about all the issues at the social realm without them being linked to the political. And of course, the founder of the group, Chief of Aula, was political. And to, to that extent, we are very political, and they want to give direction to our people, not only to our people, we are also in alliance with similar groups across the country. We are, we are, in, we are in constant touch with the Panayadida Forum, or Hanez Ndibo, uh, Middlebirds Forum, even the Northern Leaders Forum. We have come together under, under what we call Nigerian Leaders and Leaders Forum. And part of the things we are doing is that, except you don't love this country, you cannot say that the way this country is going is OK. Mm -hmm. And in any case, uh, it's saying you are that when two young people are caught in a tree, the others will look at it and say, oh, this is where to fall. Where this country is headed now? It's frightful. Mm. Things can get out of hand. And in fact, you can see that even, even internationally, they are much more concerned about those than we are. Look at what happened in the election elections. You can see the Ameri America was there, Britain was there, mm. EU was there, just election in states. Mm. That tells you how much, yes. they, I mean, in one week, you saw them flying in. Coming to the community of their brief stop, yes. getting out, and this of them. They are worried about us, right. and we should be worried. Yes. And that's why our hands should be on the deck. And yes. so that, and this time around now, so we are not just talking about the politicians, even professionals. Yes. They should be concerned. Mm. Yeah. Because, like I said earlier on, you know, yeah. when you listen to, to, the kind, to, the, to, to people like this talking, and you say, okay, okay, we have people like this in the system. And yet, when you look at those running our. I have no idea. Look when, when, it comes look, to, when it comes to running, there's something you've, you've been very vocal about yes. for the past few years, restructuring. Yes, yes. Uh, now that um, this new administration or not is coming into place, yeah. I know that uh, APC was big on restructuring at some point, but when it just got into that seat, things changed, the conversation changed. And lately, um, even uh, the candidate for the PDP, uh, former Vice President Tiku Mubaka, has been talking about restructuring. Yeah. Um, for a lot of people, they don't understand what form of restructuring is best for Nigeria. Let's talk about your expectations from the candidates and the best form of um, restructuring for yes. Nigeria. Well, first of all, to, to start with the current presidents, mm -hmm. I was with him in 2011. I was his spokesman for the 2011 elections. And that was when Pastor Tumbakari was a running mate. Before we would decide to go with him for the elections, we had a meeting and he made commitment to us to return Nigeria to federalism. We produced a very British document, Buhari Bakari campaign document. The first thing on that document was that we were going to destroy Nigeria. We printed it, glossy, very good document. But to my surprise, he never lifted that document once throughout the campaign. So that was, that was when it became very recent. So when 2015 they came, and they said, the brother had a document that said, oh, this thing is destroying Nigeria. I said, no. So when they came to power, what did they say? Oh, they said that when they talk to 200 million Nigerians, they are getting 200 million definitions of research journey. After, when the thing was not going away, they sat on the Airfire Committee. Airfire Committee went around, the definition he gave of research journey was just a zeros of what he did in 2014 at National Conference. To date, if I had nothing again. Now, Atiku Abaka has been talking about research journey. And I don't think he's just talking about it, because in 1994, when Abacha had this constitutional conference, Atiku Abaka was the chairman of the Division of Power Committee. Mm -hmm. and, he good, and he gave a good report. So I, he's, he's talking from his conviction. And I, he, 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 he autographed for me a copy of his a compilation of his speeches on social media. I have it. Now the social media we need. Restructuring, we are not speaking one big grammar. All we are saying is return Nigeria back to federalism. In 1950, there was a conference in Ibadan. 
where our founding fathers agreed on federalism. Mm -hmm. When we had the president in 1966, we got an independence on the basis of a federal constitution. What does it mean? That when you look at the exclusive list in 1960 and 60 constitutions, it's not as very lengthy as it is today. Not more than 17, 18. Today we have 68 items on the exclusive list, which means that every aspect of our lives has to be run from the center. It cannot work. Mm -hmm. I remember the Lake former Lagos governor, Bola Tinubu, in 2000, year 2001, said that they went to Abuja. And the federal minister, uh, uh, agriculture agri minister, came up to the meeting and said, that, Oh, you governors, the federal government has imported tractors for all the states. So we distribute the tractor to you and start deducting the money from your location. And Tinubu said, He asked him, the man, I should take tractor to Lagos to go and do what? To go and fish? But let me. Um, so, I know. We need, so we need. To, so just in a nutshell, mm -hmm. we need to devote powers to the federal units. Yes. There are things that should be handled at the federal units, not, not, not in Abuja. Yes. Abuja cannot run every aspect of our sure. life. Sure. And, and so, we've had those conversations that's, 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 at, that's length, um, yes. uh, at length um, in a lot of our panel discussions yes. here. Um, Kamal, you expressed. Yes. So I, I think for me, in the, in the spirit of this querying promises yeah. by candidates. Yes, sure. I would want to play the role that you guys are playing. I turn to Mr. Odubati yeah. and ask yes. exactly how will a president yes. achieve restructuring, okay. considering that it is a constitutional issue. issue. Yeah. Uh, so for a candidate to gain any credibility claiming yeah. uh, that they can restructure Nigeria, how will a president go about that doing that? OK, yes, I think that we. The Southern and Midway leaders from saw Atiku in Abuja yesterday. And uh, when he said clearly that, look, the question of restructuring, the National Assembly is involved. Therefore, we have to ensure that also that those who go to the National Assembly are pro restructuring. So it's not something a president can promise. No, 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 uh, the Nigerian president is the most powerful president in the whole world. Five. There's no president in, in, in the whole world, executive president as, as far as the Nigerian president. I agree. So if the Nigerian president believes in something, he can drive the process. How? How will drive, drive it? Yes. Yes. The, the president can do an executive bill. The same thing that we said is draconian. And no, 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 executive oh, bill. Yes. Not oh, bill. Oh, okay, not, 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 executive not, executive not, not that. Executive bill. <laughs> not executive bill. Okay. Okay. Yes. bill. Okay. Yes, to the National Assembly. Okay. Yes. okay. To say, okay, yes, I've looked at this, this, all these items. So from there, once you take the United Assembly, yeah. the debate starts in a community across the country. So it's, it's a democracy that we're talking about. So therefore, and that's why when he said that, look, it's not only the president. Mm. National Assembly, if it's, if it's very, very critical. No, so let's stick to the president. The truth of the matter. Yeah. But the president so, can drive the process. But the truth of the yes. matter is, yes. right, if you look at the people in the National Assembly, yes. you know, Ikwaramadu, uh, Sarah Kitsch, yes, they're right. all pro you know, this, this view. So my view is that I, th I think that if he comes in and he really wants to do it, I think yeah. it's possible. Um, I think for me, I think we, we need the country to move to that point where we're starting to think as ourselves or of ourselves as citizens mm. more than indigents. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is that, you know, at this point, I, I, I find it so amazing um, in, you know, that you're filling a form for a job and someone is asking you, where's your local oh, government? government? I mean, really? You know what I mean? The idea should really be, are you a Nigerian citizen, yes or no? Because the truth is, the only way you can move to meritocracy, all right, where you're putting people in positions because of their competence, as you said earlier, is when you're based, when you're looking at things from a perspective of Nigerian citizen rather than the federal character issue. I give an example. Take Lagos. By the way, that also right. means that uh, right. Afrika Inferior and Ohaneze should not exist. No, 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 no. Let me no, explain. No, let me explain. So, no, no. I'm not saying it shouldn't. Let, let, let me say something. Right. No, I'm, I'm going to say something. Uh, yeah, no, I want to say think, something. I think maybe, maybe what happens is their existence becomes much no. more social, cultural, and less political. Absolutely. Which is, no. which is where you, even, you, sit, even, you sit at the intersection now. Even like you said earlier, that you know the founder was political. It's fine. Can I say something? But it can evolve. The point is, exactly. The point is this. It's like, look. I've, you were I've giving never, us an example. Yes, yeah. I, my, my view is I've, I've never said, you know, don't have a uh, cultural or Special you know, roots interest. or whatever. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But the truth is, is that for us to actually optimize, right, our human capital, 
We have to move away from indigenship to citizenship. It's the only way. Look, take Lagos. Lagos probably has 60%, if not more, of the pool of talent mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. When it comes to picking a minister, yeah. you say it has to be one what? person from Lagos. Mm -hmm. You see? Now, and that person, oh, by the way, has to be an indigene of Lagos. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, that is your biggest pool of talent. Okay, okay let me come at you with point. something. What we've yes. seen in Nigeria yeah. has been divide over time along ethnic lines. Mm -hmm. During the last conference um, that you were a part of, I mean, when there was arguments of resource control, mm -hmm. It was clearly divided among ethnic lines. Yes. Yeah. During the last elections, we as even well, have a fancy name for it called national character. National character, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. even uh, when um, the campaigns were on between um, the current president Buhari and then the former yeah. one Jonathan, we saw a divide along ethnic lines. Yes. Yeah. Now, before we take that step into you know yeah, citizenship, yes, yeah, sweeping all of that yeah. over yeah. under the carpet, uh, um, shouldn't we think of healing? the great divide that has been created. Now, I remember during that campaign, there was talk about, oh, um, President Buhari would be the one to heal that divide. But mm -hmm. we haven't seen a country. It's not fair to ask President Buhari to heal uh, that okay. divide. But how do we begin no, to no, heal? No, no, no. So, that, so two, two things. Yeah. In my view, which is why yeah. I said it as a joke, yeah. but I really wonder if that divide is not exacerbated by the existence of Ohanese, uh, Ariwa mm -hmm. Consultative Forum, and, with all due respect, Afeni Ferry. Yes. No, seriously, because is our problem, what is a Yoruba agenda yeah. in Nigeria today? Okay. What is an Igbo agenda okay. versus a common man's agenda okay. around elimination of hunger, insecurity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. homelessness, yeah. and yeah. health care. Yeah. Yeah. What is, yeah. how is yeah. a truck pusher yeah. in a point? Yeah. How is a truck pusher in a point yeah. different from a yeah. farmer in yeah. Gusau? Yeah. Uh, please, no, tell me, like, it, no, how does me, a very yeah. yeah. champion, yeah. Yeah. you know... Uh, let, me, let me come in that. Please. Please. You see, the, I'm a Christian. The Bible is my template. There are 12 tribes in Israel. When God will give instruction to Moses, he said, take one man from every tribe. Mm -hmm. These 12 tribes are, are from the same, same father, from the same seed. Mm -hmm. But he said, take one man mm -hmm. from every tribe. Mm -hmm. Look, you see, you know salad, salad bowl. Mm -hmm. yes. Nigeria should be a salad bowl. Mm -hmm. When you take a salad bowl, you can see all the ingredients. This lettuce, this tomato, this egg, this, they are different ingredients. Mm -hmm. But it's the combination of these ingredients that you salad. So no, can I ask you? No, 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 Yes. yes, and it hasn't taken us anywhere. Precisely. You have to get to a point when you say, when you keep using the same medicine and it's not working, drop it. Oh, okay. Look, the reality is, yeah, I ask myself a very simple question. Where's Cameron from? David Cameron, do yeah. you know? Yeah. Tell me, where is he from? He's in, I know he's English. He's English. He's English. Where, but where, where, where? where? Do you know? No, no, hang on, where's he from? Go on, go on. Where is Theresa May from? Go on. <laughs> Where is Trump from? Go on. <laughs> Do you understand? Go the on. Point, you see, go on. Go so the point is, you see, no, no, you see. So, we, so now we don't want a salad, is it? Right? Yeah. So it's not about, the, see, the thing is this, I've always said something. Mm. I don't care yeah. whether, um, you know, it's, uh, whether it is this area or that area or this area. It doesn't matter. The most important thing to me is whoever is there, be the best at what you do. Precisely. You see, we need to move away from this issue. I gotta say something. You know, yeah. it's like you said. Okay, let's do salad. Yeah. yeah? Yes. You, know, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I could put in there. Yes. Tomatoes, yes. whatever. Yeah. But the point yes. is this, yes. my dear brother, is that look, you can't have a situation where you say, you know what, we must have red here, because um, it just has to be red. So, the person that must fill this job must come from Kogi State, regardless of whether he's the best or not, Shall I go and find somebody from Kogi, yeah. because we must have somebody from there. The truth of the matter is, now that person you found, for instance, might be the worst person. But guess what? Yeah, the only person it's the only person available. that's available. That's so that's the truth is, if we are going to well. restructure right. this country, mm -hmm. if we're going to restructure this country for its optimum, mm -hmm. 
optimum behavior, right, in terms of how it would actually be the best country it can be, right, then it has to be able to pick the best people. Every system, right, yeah. is like a triangle, mm -hmm. you know, and what countries do, yeah. you know, you create a triangle. So whereby, you know, everybody starts and you, you all mm -hmm. compete, 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 mm -hmm. and then at the end, yeah. you have what is called your best, mm -hmm. your most enlightened, your most uh, 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 wise and so on and so no, forth, and you, those become your leaders. Yes. Before you respond, we more yes. or less have. Because when you were talking, <laughs> when, when you were talking um, yes. earlier, yeah. when I asked you what you thought about the pick, yeah. um, former vice president's pick in Peter Obi, you talked yes. about the fact that the Igbo leaders said they were not consulted. So it is. Isn't that? I mean, it's yeah. a part of the conversation. No, that's that's, that's <laughs> something. Oh, constitution, constitution is part of democracy. I, I agree with you. Now, but, to to uh, that's my brother. You see. When you say that, there's, I don't believe that there's, a, there's any section, any group that God created that does not have, that, that can, that's not have good group of quality and can have, have the best. There's no section here. But there Look, could be better people. Let, 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 the reason, the reason, wait, 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 let me, that's not, no, 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 we've not done it right, we've not done it right. Look, you look at me, let me do it. No problem, sir. Can you just tell us what is the correct way to do this and use this? The correct way to do it is that when you look for the best from every section of Nigeria. Not what they do now. Today now, okay, Buari, Buari today, we have 17 service chiefs in Nigeria. Buari has taken 16 out of the 17 from his, his, his session of the country. Is, what is the quality of the people I'm taking? That is no, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Let me say something. Let me say something. Yeah. Let me say something. From my perspective, yes. from my perspective yes. right? 16 out of 17. No, let me say something, right? From my perspective, yes. if the 16 out of 17 came from Gusau, and they were the best. I, they were, and the were, I have no problem. Exactly. With it. they, that's what, that's so, so it's not, it and that's why I'm saying we need to move to away. No. So the thing is, that's why I'm saying that. Look, you see, let me say something. Tradition, Again, I go back to my point society. of citizenship. No. Traditional yes. society. Okay? No. Citizenship vis a vis uh, indigence. Yeah. You see, one of the problems we have yeah, as a American. people, okay? It will, well, yeah. that's that's right. Right. So, I mean, meanwhile, you want to be, you want to no, no, no. you want to come and do no, your no, 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 election no, 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 what we want, and we say, we say, oh, it's a settler society, and what have you. But, precise, but the point is, it is not the, 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 the fact that it's not a traditional society uh, that makes it work. It is a recognition. Yes. England is a traditional society by exactly. your definition. It's not a settler society. Yes. Yet they do not say it is the turn of, of Scotland Manchester. to produce or of Liverpool or the or whatever. What they say is. <laughs> It is the <laughs> most competent person today. You can argue, the discussions are no. not around your, whether you're Catholic or Anglican or whether you're Thank Protestant. You. The conversation is around who Competence. is the most competent. Look That's at, it. we abuse Trump. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, he's this, is that. But guess what? He's a proven entity in his own mm -hmm. sphere. Well, absolutely. All right, that is what threw him up. You can disagree with it. By the way, his support, he's a New Yorker, bred, bred, born and bred. Yeah. Guess where he's? greater support is it's in the so-called American heartland, yes. the places like Texas and what have you. That's where his support is coming exactly. from. It's yeah. like the Yorkers are not saying, oh, he's one of us. Yeah. No. This Thank is you. ridiculous. You are not, you are not yet yeah. in such yeah. society. You are comparing Apple with Orange. But you're not moving us forward okay. with this. You are moving ahead of society. You are ahead of society. You are going to dance pro next. One second, one second. One second, one second. Okay, please. You can't say to me. I see your point. It's not society. You know, All right, so he's going to say something we're going to come back. Yes. You know, I remember when I, I first came back to yeah. Nigeria, yeah. Um, 2005. Sure. And, you know, when we go in and we start speaking the same way, way we speak, yeah. they will say, ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. no, 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 no. You know, that's, a, that's for advanced countries. Yes. Yeah, it's for advanced countries, you see. This is uh, Nigeria. We're not yet there. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the truth of the matter, yeah? the truth of the matter <laughs> is, you see, no. No, no, no. You know, no, 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 no,
you have to aspire yes. okay, to something. Yes. And you can't keep saying that, oh, that thing is too far. You know, those countries that, have, that we all admire, you know, that have been able to metamorphosize, is the fact that they've believed that, you know what, they should be yes. where they are, yeah. yes. okay? So they don't keep saying things like what you've just said, which is that, hey, but that is apples and origin. No, mm -hmm. if our aim is to become a country that people admire, etc., no. Then if America is an orange, so should Nigeria. And therefore, mm -hmm. what we do is we say to ourselves, yeah, I, I, in the context, yeah. let me say something, yeah. in the context of who we are yes. and the issues that yeah. we have, because we're unique, yes. right? But we need to also imbibe the qualities that we know work. So if you talk about your, the, the whole, you know, uh, salad theory, yeah. you know, different da 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 we, we've, we, look, there is a compelling reason to say, you know, there must be somebody now. I, we have to have representation out of the whole 36 states. It's a compelling reason. Yeah. I agree with yes. you. However, my dear brother, if we have tried that same thing for 50 years, until date, we cannot produce. No, so no, can no, I, can 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 there must have been, in 50 years, right, yes. several permutations of it. When Bwari was away, yes. and Dara invaded the Assembly, and Oshiba just sacked him, I said, the next most senior man in the DSS, come on board. And the gentleman from Baisa came in. From where, sir? The gentleman from Baisa, okay. Saifa, he came in. Okay. As I was getting to professionally, President Bwari came back from London. Ah. Within weeks, he fired the man, went to bring a man with us outside the state of Volcano again. The one take place of Dara. That's, that's not the wrong and inclusive what was, society. What was Afani Ferry's response? Was it that a competent person Thank has been you. fired, or, or was it that a Sadaka has been fired? A, we need to stop a, this. A, we need to stop a, this. Yeah, it's a, 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 a Sadaka and a competent person. No, let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, yeah. That's the right. point. I put this point out there. Let me, let, let, yes. listen to me. When I say that it's safer, do you know what they said? Why, why, why they fired him? Mm -hmm. When they had problem with the presidency, why did they, they were organizing the service? Safer discovered right. that there are four directors from yeah. South South. Mm -hmm. He removed three. Okay. Picked, because with himself, I said, he picked somebody from the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Southwest has nobody on the board of DSS. Pick someone for no central address to them. That's when they attack problem with the, with the presidency. So wow. did you pick them based on competence? Uh, competence. So, no, no, no. Gentlemen, on competence. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we're going to do this. Unfortunately, we, yes. we're out of time. Yes. But fortunately, we now know the, the um, ironing raw topic yes. that we need to um, start yes. with next time, yes. Yes. which is restructuring. Sure. And actually, what is the future role, if we truly do become citizens, what is the future role of groups like Fanny Fair. Yes. And I think that would be a great conversation for us to start with because I think it's really important as we go in as we go into these elections that we arm people with the right mindset yes. and what the right expectations. Yes. Um, but once again, thank you all for being here thank today. You. We you. really appreciate your time. Great discussion. Yes. Yeah. We, we appreciate all our guests for their incisive analysis on Nigeria's political economy and the issue of restructuring.